The new raid linear fusion cataclysmic has a very interesting perk pool for DPS that caught my attention, and in this video I'm going to test its DPS against its closest competitors, the Reed's Regret, Sleeper, and Whisper. For DPS, you want enhanced battery and 4th times the charm for sure, and then there's a couple of options on the other side, like high impact reserves, clown cartridge, and focused fury. There's also the question of whether you want to use backup mag or boss spec for these weapons. I've already previously tested backup mag versus boss spec on Reed's Regret, and here's the DPS over time graph. Some people say that backup mag is better for sustained DPS, but as you can see, aside from the first boss spec reload, backup mag consistently deals lower DPS across its entire reserves. I'm assuming that Cataclysmic will follow the same pattern, so I'm going to use boss spec. The Cataclysmic that I have has enhanced battery, 4th times the charm, and high impact reserves. Focused Fury will be better for DPS, but I don't have a Focused Fury rule yet, but I can easily simulate it by replacing the High Impact Reserves damage numbers with Focused Fury numbers. But I'll still show you the High Impact Reserves numbers later on in the video anyways, as well as talk about Clown Cartridge and Bait and Switch. The damage numbers that I'm using for testing are from this Europa Lost Sector boss, and once again I'm manually adding on Firing Line and Focused Fury. So I'm kind of cheating here because I've already tested Reed, Sleeper, and Whisper, so I'm basically just recycling my old footage. But I have a good reason for this. I wanted to see how Cataclysmic performed relative to all three of these weapons, as they are all precision DPS heavy weapons. I'm at Kali shooting Divinity to activate crit-related perks, but there's not enough time to shoot all of the ammo before I wipe. So I had to cut some of the clips together, but I made sure to line up everything frame by frame to perfectly preserve the timing of the damage sequence. I also added an artificial ammo count to keep track. So Cataclysmic is going to drag on for a while, and obviously you're never going to stand there and shoot a boss for 50 seconds straight, but I went all the way to the end for the sake of completeness. Another thing I want to mention is Font of Might. In my opinion, it's easiest to power up the Reed's Regret because all you need is a mod called Supreme Wellmaker, but for the solar weapons, you will most likely need enemies nearby to generate solar wells. I didn't include Font of Might in my testing because it varies a lot depending on your situation. As expected, Reed's Regret and Cataclysmic have absurdly high total damage, and also all of these weapons output very similar DPS. Here's the graph for DPS over time, and you can see just how close their DPS are. For Whisper of the Worm, the no whispered breathing delay means that I didn't include the time it takes to activate it, which means that I'm assuming that you're pre-scoping to activate the perk. Reed's Regret now gets Vice Stinger, which grants you a small chance to automatically reload when dealing damage with it. Obviously, it's random, so I simulated the best case scenario, and your DPS should fall somewhere in this area. And then when you add the other weapons back in, this is what it looks like. Now I'll talk about Clown Cartridge and why I think it's inferior on this weapon for DPS. Not only is Clown Cartridge random and very hard to objectively test, but 4th times the charm doesn't even give you ammo above your base mag. Here's the DPS over time for the best case scenario first two mags of Clown Cartridge and how it compares to Focused Fury and High Impact Reserves. You can see that at no point does Clown Cartridge ever go above Focused Fury, even when Focused Fury needs to reload. Finally, the perk Baden Switch is a 20% damage increase for 10 seconds, and I assume it'll be the way to go if you're running something like Wither Horde or Osteostriga. Speaking of Wither Horde, I'll make a separate video later on for how Wither Horde affects DPS when running legendary heavy weapons. Wither Horde is a little complicated to test, and I want it to be as scientific as possible for that video, which is why I haven't been including it so far. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Peace.